Hi, this is Grow It, Build It, and I'm going to show you a video on how to make flower beds and the best way to get rid of the grass to uh, make a vegetable garden or a flower garden. Uh, the most important tool you'll need is a flat shovel like this one, uh, also called a garden spade. There'll be a link below to uh, where you can pick that up if you don't already have one. Um, and uh, basically, the way you do this is uh, by cutting out sod pads, uh, cutting out the profile. I like to go about two to three shovel widths wide by two to three shovel widths long and um, it's you know you don't want to make a sod pad that's too large uh, or too small and you kind of got to figure out what works for you but once you've trimmed the outline pry up the leading edge and then the most important part is you're going to cut parallel to the grass so you'll drop down to your knees and use the flat shovel parallel to the grass that allows you to control how much soil you are picking up if you try to do this only standing up or use a regular spade, you're probably going to end up taking, you know, three to six inches of dirt with everything you do, and you're going to take bite-sized pieces, and it's going to be really heavy and uh, not so nice. Um, even still, this job may seem daunting, but if you do it when the soil is moist, um, so after a good rain or just water the heck out of the area you're going to do uh, prior to starting your work, it can really not be too bad. So I'm expanding one of my perennial flower beds here and uh, I'll actually will time it and see how long it takes me to do this. Um, but again, the key is the right tool and uh, you know making your pad not too big, not too small and uh, cutting parallel to the grass. So that's the area I'm going to do. Uh, in total it's about uh, 12 feet long by 3 feet wide so not that huge but you know I've seen garden beds like that. So the clock says 203 and we'll see how long it takes me to go through this. But if you try to get greedy and take uh, too wide of a pad it, it'd almost be like pulling a pizza out of an oven with a spoon. It's just going to flop all over and break up and um, it, you know, it's more efficient to get the pad by itself. If you take pads that are too little, well, you might just be, uh, you know, doing a little too much work. But cutting it like this, um, it, it, the pad size for me is manageable. It generally stays together. Um, that's even with all the junk I encounter in my soil, which right there you can see a big black locust tree root and rocks and all the other good stuff. Um, but the way this works is you're, you're down on your knees, you're cutting parallel to the grass, it's really easy on your back. It's the easiest way on your back that I've found, and I've done a lot of this stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. If you have a better way, let me know, but uh, this works for me. And so we'll just let it run here and see how long it takes. I'm getting close to being done. But I did have a very, very thorough rain the day before I started this. And this was in November too, which hence all the dead leaves and such that are just starting to fall. But uh, Yep. And now I'm on to the last section here and just cutting outlines and scooping them up like I've been doing. It was a pretty windy day, as you can tell by that one plant that's flying around. And ugh, there it is. Camera was not damaged in that fall. <laughs> but. So it's not a huge area that I expanded, but it's not nothing either. And the time was 2.20. It took 17 minutes uh, to clear that up. And that had the right tool, the right method. Um, so it's about four square meters. Um, and that's a picture of my vegetable garden after I had finished it uh, the year prior using the same method. Uh, that's 17 feet by 17 feet. And then this is the entire perennial flower bed. It's November, so there's not really anything blooming. But that thing is very big. It's about 60 feet long and 15 feet uh, deep. Um, but uh, yeah, if you uh, like the video, click like, click subscribe to f get more tips like this from me. And uh, you can check out our website at growupbuilder.com. Uh, we've got a lot of interesting articles up there. But I hope this video helped you out. So thank you very much. Have a good day.